Hi, Mike here. Um, I'm going to be showing you um, how I install a grab loop and a painter line on the valve of uh, my solo canoe. I have a 14 foot clipper packer canoe. Uh, I've rented it the past couple seasons, really enjoyed it, and ended up picking up uh, a used one at Winnipeg Canoe Rentals uh, where I rent the canoes. Um, I already installed uh, a grab loop and line on the stern of the canoe, um, just as a test. I've never done this before. Um, and it seemed to work out well. Um, so I thought uh, since there wasn't much video that I can find uh, for my particular application, I thought I'd shoot a quick video and uh, maybe it's useful um, to some of you out there. Uh, this canoe has built-in flotation tanks. Um, so um, I decided to install the loops um, a little bit higher instead of drilling through um, the flotation tanks and compromising the integrity of those tanks. So. Uh, I'll go step by step here and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put some masking tape on the area where I'm going to drill on both sides. This will do will help protect any chipping on the gel coat area. I'm going to measure, I made measurements ready from when I did the stern so this is going to come off about two and a half inches I'll make a line there and about about half an inch just from the the cap here so that's my first mark and I'm going to do the same On the other side, just measure up. next I'm going to drill a pilot hole to use as a guide and to help avoid some of the uh, any chipping. There, I'll change the bits. I'm using uh, just a half inch um, drill bit that I have for. Uh, it's kind of an all-purpose drill bit for metal or wood. First time you do this, drilling in your canoe, it's a bit scary. There we go. So I'll just go and uh, drill out the other side as well. There we go. Nice smooth hole there. So what I'm using here is 100% uh, polypropylene uh, braided line. Uh, so this is 3 8 uh, I did drill the holes to half inch as I want to get some uh, half inch rope uh, for the grab loops. Uh, but for now this is the rope I have. I'm going to feed it through, uh, make my loop. Uh, for this application because there's not much space to get my hand Underneath, um, by the flotation tanks, it's going to be really hard to um, tie a loop underneath um, underneath the cap there. So I'm just going to tie a new, uh, knot on the um, outside of the uh, canoe, which is just going to work fine. I'm going to form the grab loop. Um, so I've got a little bit of the rope. First, I'm just going to lightly Send some of that, kind of lick your fingers a little bit. There, so we got the end kind of looking like that. That's so it doesn't get hung up as I'm pushing it through. Okay, so I'm going to come around this side first. So I'm going to feed it through. Having a little bit hard, 
um, larger diameter hole actually helps uh, to keep this loop through. Maybe pull it out about eight inches or so, like this. I'm just gonna do, I'm not sure what the, the knot's called, but it's just, I think it's an overhand knot. But I'm basically gonna take both ropes, just feed it under, and then feed it through. It's probably a little hard to see with the camera, but I'll do a close up in a moment. Okay, I'll show you a little closer how I did that grab loop. Um, I think it's called an overhand knot. You have two ends, you create a loop like this. So at the two strands over like that. And then I'll take the loop around through the hole and basically pull it tight. So it's pretty strong. Not that's not coming off. I'll pull it tight. And when you cinch it tight, the knots just gonna sit on the edge of the canoe like that. So um, now I'm just gonna cut the excess rope. And then just cinch this one a little bit. And there you go. Now I'm gonna attach the painter line. Um, so I got some uh, quarter inch polypropylene. I like the quarter inch. It's easier to tie down into a smaller bundle. This is longer than what I need, uh, but I'm going to start with this and uh, attach it to the grab loop and then measure it out and uh, or cut it to length. Okay, I'm going to tie the double bowl and knot. There are a ton of videos out there. Um, which are in pictures, which will show you a lot better than I can probably do here. Um, but I'll try to show as much as I can. I'm going to create one loop. And then I'm going to create a second loop on top of that. So I'm going to take this excess rope, bring it under, through the hole. Okay. Then I'm going to go around and under this rope and back down through the hole and then I'll just cinch it up slowly making sure everything looks nice and neat like so pull on it and cinch it nice and tight and there we go okay you're gonna Connect the painter to the grab loop. So I'm going to stick this loop through. Basically take the main line of the painter and feed it through. So I got a lot of rope here. Okay. So this is what it looks like and then I'll cinch it tight. So that forms a good Strong connection there. Now I like my ropes a little bit longer than the length of the canoe, maybe around 20 feet. Um, so once I have the rope attached, I'm just going to take a walk to the end of the canoe, line, wrap it around the stern, and then walk back so to the midpoint. there. Good, now I got the length of my rope. The last thing I want to do is install a bungee cord um, right on the top of this cap. When I roll up the cord I'm gonna stick it underneath the bungee cord to keep it in place. Uh, just have these olive green bungee cords. I don't know, I bought a pack from Princess Auto. This is maybe 20 inches and uh, I'm going to take these hooks off the ends. Okay. 
like that. There we go. So I'm just going to drill a quarter inch hole um, right here. I can tell from underneath there's a bit of a gap there. So I can take my bungee cord. I'm not going to um, cut it the length, um, just to leave a bit in case I need to untie it. Um, again, always thinking about other uses in case I need a small bit of cord while I'm uh, in the backcountry to repair to repair something. It's pretty tight to get your hand in here. So you want to pull it through. Like so. So I can bring it up here. And I'm just going to tie um, you know, kind of find the right length where I want the knot. Pull it a bit tight so there's some tension on there. Um, so it's a little bit finicky, but basically going to do the overhand knot that I did for the grab loop. So I'm going to get that on there. I'm going to try to snug it as close to the edge of this cap because you, know, you want some tension on there to hold the rope. I'm going to pull that forward as much as possible. Like that. So when I get the right tension, pull it forward so that the knot goes all the way under the cap towards the bow. And there you go. There's the loop. And using quarter inch rope, I'm able to bundle it uh, the same way as paracord. I guess it depends on your hand size. So I'm just going to wind it up. Uh, there's also lots of videos on YouTube about how to make a quick deployment uh, bundle of rope um, with paracord. So I'm going to leave a little extra. Keep that end out. Wind up a few lengths here, like so. And then I'm going to tuck it under, leave the cord right, bungee cord right in between the tied up rope. There we go. Easily accessible if you need to pull it out. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Beer time. Time to have my Portager Pilsner, which has become a tradition on my trips. Cheers. Oh, that's good stuff.